Hello, my name is Yvonne Wren and I'm presenting today on the development of a tool for automatic transcription and analysis of children's language samples. We'd like to thank the organisers of the Early Childhood Voices Conference 2020 for accepting our abstract and providing this opportunity for me to talk about the work which involves industry, academic and clinical partners. The Language Explorer team consists of a number of people who are involved behind the scenes and also a number of developers and I'd like to introduce a few of them here today. First of all, there's Rebecca Bright, MBE and Swapnil Gadgel, who are the founders and directors of the tech development company Therapy Box. Then Professor Christina McKean from the University of Newcastle, who's leading the citizen science work stream, which includes the data collected and reported on in this presentation. Jerry Bates is the lead speech and language therapist for Serona Care and Health, a provider of children's health services in the southwest of England. And Dr. Sam Harding, Miriam Seifert and myself all work at Bristol Speech and Language Therapy Research Unit and are involved in the clinical evaluation aspect of this study. So, Developmental language disorder, or DLD, is the term used to, to describe children who have difficulties with expressive and or receptive language skills that impact on everyday life. For example, difficulties producing or understanding complex sentences or learning new words. Approximately two children in every classroom will experience DLD to a level which can hinder their academic progress. Children with DLD are at substantially increased risk of poor outcomes in education, employment, relationships and mental health. But ultimately, more than half of children with DLD are not identified and so do not receive any additional support. Language sampling provides speech language pathologists with important information about children's use of spoken language within a naturalistic communication environment. And it's considered a cornerstone of clinical practice for children with DLD. Results inform the design of the intervention and the identification of children who might need support. But the process of manually transcribing and analyzing language used is time consuming, labor intensive and expensive. It can take up to 30 minutes within a session to collect a sample and then an additional 90 minutes afterwards to transcribe and analyze time that most speech and language therapists do not have. Indeed, a survey of 257 speech language pathologists in Australia by Westerveld and Klassen showed that language samples were generally short, often not recorded and were analyzed informally meaning that management decisions are being made on insufficient data. The main barrier to more detailed language sampling is time. Language Explorer is a new app which is being developed using machine learning. It will dramatically reduce the time required for language sampling and analysis by automating much of the process. It will collect a language sample by asking children to retell a story which will be recorded by the system. It will then provide an automated transcription which can be checked by the speech and language pathologist or an assistant to ensure that the transcription is an accurate representation of the language produced by the child. The final transcript is then automatically analysed by the programme, providing a wide range of measures of expressive language which can be used to identify targets for therapy and to measure outcomes. To determine at an early stage how the app worked in practice and also to gather normative data, a citizen, approach, a citizen science approach to data collection was used. This promotes public participation in the collection of data for both automatic and manual transcription and analysis to determine the reliability of the tool. Parents using the app were also asked to complete a survey on their experience. So over a thousand parents downloaded the app and contributed narrative language samples. 
and 432 of these also completed the survey. Comments from parents on the survey were overwhelmingly positive, uh, but included some suggestions for how the app could be improved. Children using the app were typically aged between uh, three and six years old, and most had typically developing speech and language skills. Language Explorer consists of three tasks. Uh, the first is a story retail task, as I've described, which is used for uh, collecting a narrative language sample for automatic transcription and analysis. But we also included a uh, comprehension section and also a sentence repetition task in response to requests from speech and language, speech language pathologists. So we asked parents which task the children preferred and over half responded that the story retail was their favorite activity, followed by the comprehension questions of the quiz, and finally by repeating sentences. We're keen to understand, <coughs> understand if there are likely to be any difficulties for parents in using the app, <clears throat> and whether children were able to complete the tasks with minimal support from parents. The majority of parents reported that the app was easy to use and that their child enjoyed using it. The original intention in developing Language Explorer was to provide a tool that speech language pathologists could use and which would benefit them through providing a reliable system for language sampling, which have been uh, transcribed and analyzed automatically and can be used to support management decisions. And this is still the aim, but the appearance of COVID during the development of the tool has meant that much more assessment and intervention for children with DLD is being carried out remotely. There's a need, therefore, to COVID-proof new tools and ensure that they could be used by parents to provide data which is of use to a child's speech language pathologist. Key to this is ensuring that the tool is appealing and that parents will be happy to use it. For this reason, we asked parents whether they would recommend Language Explorer to others, and you can see from this sliding scale that the vast majority said they would, with more than half providing the maximum score. Technology has the capability to significantly enhance our methods for assessment in the field of speech language pathology. These preliminary findings show that Language Explorer, which provides automatic transcription and analysis of language samples, is acceptable to parents of young children. Work is ongoing to determine the reliability of the tool and to investigate its usefulness with a clinical population of children with DLD. We'd like to finish just by acknowledging our funders, the UK National Institute for Health Research, and also all of the parents and children who accessed Language Explorer during the citizen science period and who provided language samples and completed the survey. If you want to keep informed about the study and the work that we're doing, do follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you for listening.